Welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new here, I'm Tina. Today we are headed back to another storage pallet auction. So the last one was pretty darn good for me. So I'm excited to go check out another round and see if we can find anything good. Let's go. Just checking out a couple of these. This looks like some pretty generic Christmas stuff. Batman the Animated Series. It looks like it's in there. I think that might be worth like maybe over a hundred bucks. Clothing in the bottom. An old coffee cup. Xbox, Xbox box. Some cords. Cords, not sure anything else is in there but the cords. Power cord. Alright, we'll see what happens. Looks like a lot of junk today. Alright guys, so I won one pallet for $150. Uh, loading it into the car now. I have one more box I need to go grab off of the pallet. I'm gonna have to break one box down the same uh, as I did last time. I'm gonna have to break one down to be able to fit it all in. Uh, and then we will go unbox it. So this is the giant box. That I am gonna break down. I don't know what the heck that even is in there. It's the only thing in here. I feel like this might be like a suit of armor or something. <laughs> I don't even know. We will unwrap it further back at the warehouse. All right, so this one's super bulky and heavy. So I'm totally gonna have to unbox some of this to put it in, cause it's just not, it's just not working. There's a bunch of junk, holy moly, holy moly. I'm gonna put some of that into this box. Gucci, a bunch of CDs. Oh boy, what is this? Seed oil. The heck? Oh. Batman. This person liked Batman. Mm. Wow, lots of uh, my stove. Lots of um. Burned CDs down there. Oh, we got a piggy bank. Maybe we got some moolah in there, baby. We'll check when we get back to the warehouse. Some movies. Boston Red Sox. Some paint. A big mix in here. Big mix. Oh, what the heck is that thing? We got an LG speaker of some sort. Ooh, that looks a little risque. Gucci. Let's see what this Gucci thing is here. What is this? Oh, it's a plaque. Probably got the person's name on it. Gucci. Let's see what's inside of this. Hold on a minute. Gucci and Madonna. That's pretty interesting. So it's like an invite. 2008. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. I wonder if that's worth anything. We'll have to find out. Hmm. All right. Well, I got to figure out how to get this all into my car here and break down another box. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. Okay guys, so we are gonna get into this. I am going to, um, this is gonna go in the dumpster, this thing is. 
not reusable. Uh, I'm going to put the flip the camera around at some point, but I need to get into a little bit of this first. This right here looks like a... I got the air conditioner. That I got to get rid of. Um, this looks like a night... I don't know if it's a costume or like a freestanding one. So I'm going to... And this feels like the rest of it right here. So I'm going to dig into this real quick. Oh boy. Okay, so I ripped this open. And we have a strange assortment in this bag. We have a cheap, like, Dollar Tree kind of vase. Um, what the heck is in here? This is kind of creepy. Like, what could that be in this, in this thing here. <laughs> and then it looks like we have a vintage camera of some sort. Just kind of thrown in here in this bag. That's odd. Very odd. And then, and then we have this guy. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of the perfect time of year. It's a little bent up, that's for sure. A little messed up. I don't know if someone would wear this or if it's purely decorative, but I believe the other pieces are in here. So I'm going to pull this out, get this out of the way, and uh, yeah, we'll move on from there. Okay, this is weird. So I'm opening this, and it's got like the Gucci. Isn't that like the Gucci pattern? It's got like the Gucci pattern on it. Like what the heck is this thing honestly i don't know but it is definitely bent up and in pieces but it looks like maybe it was like a prop for something um i don't know so i am gonna just take this out right now right, then we also have this air conditioner which is also getting out of here this thing is pretty crusty i am going to um put that in the dumpster uh, yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna go, we're gonna start into this box. Um, I'm gonna move this air conditioner and we'll start digging into this stuff. Right, so I would normally keep that air conditioner and try to sell it. Uh, maybe on like Marketplace or something like that, but it looks pretty darn crusty, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. Um, this box is a little taller than, than my GoPro here, so Maybe I'll put it on the ground and dig into it that way. Oh, just hit me right in the face. Okay, so I don't know what this is. Some kind of a blanket. TBN, holy something, holy, I don't know what this is. Um, this I did see in the, uh, in the preview. It's just basic, this I don't even think is for the xbox but it's basically it looks just like power the power supply this might not yeah maybe i don't know i think it's just a power supply that's okay that can be useful sometimes move this camera a little higher um so yeah nothing crazy there we have a Mickey Mouse. This is good for this time of year. People like these little like door greeters or whatever they call them. Um, he's got a couple little marks, but he might he might sell. Honestly, he might sell. Uh, this looks like some kind of baby bedding bag or something. No clue what that is. This is a real random box. Some mm, funky baby blankets, some socks. That's going in the uh, the dumpster. A little Nautica baby shirt. That uh, Christmas wreath, Mickey Mouse bag. This box is uh, not that great. Here's another Xbox cord. 
we have some head covers for golf clubs, tailor-made, New York Jets. Um, this one, I would say I'd try to wipe it down and sell it, but it does have some like real issues. So I don't know, but head covers can sell for sure. If they're good. Stuart Weitzman. Thank you for your order. It's a packing slip. I don't know. Maybe we'll find some designer duds. Here's that coffee mug that I was looking at in the preview. All right, we have some more what looks to be baby stuff. Sesame Place. Here's a little vest. Baby Gap. Baby Gap little sweater it must have had a boy this one still has the tags on it this is baby gap kind of cute it's got a little schmutz on it but I'll try to sell that uh, we got a little little baby Nick's hat never been worn This is some kind of a baby thing with some spit up on it. What the heck is this thing? I don't even know what that is. Hello, keys. Um, Janie and Jack. It's cute. Dirty toy. Some kind of a oh what is in here oh we like to see that oh what is in this bag baby what is in this bag what the heck is this oh no way is this real is this real Holy mackerel. Look at this. What? This, I didn't even know Louis Vuitton made jackets. Oh, and it appears, it appears that there is a skirt with it. Holy mackerel. I don't even know if this was ever worn. Like, it looks like this is part of the tag. What the heck? You go from this baby stuff to Louis Vuitton? What? I can't even believe this. Size 38. What the heck? Yo, I did not even know Louis Vuitton made clothes. Okay, so this is crazy. I am gonna put this back in the dust bag or clothing bag whatever you call this uh and i'm going to have to check this out a little bit more yo that is insane this is insane this there's no way what the heck all right we'll see we'll see about this Alrighty, guys so i just want to pop in here and tell you that this is incredible this louis vuitton is legit it is um, look number five in the 2009 runway show. I'll pop up the photo here so you can see the model wearing it. So this is a super exciting find. Uh, I do see one listed on another designer site for 2,600. I listed mine for 2,500 with best offer. Um, I think this is probably the type of thing that's gonna sit for a little while, but I don't mind. Um, as I said, I paid 150 for the palette. I already made 100 back on just that one gucci invite so yeah i am just blown away absolutely blown away um i mean the week before which you guys already saw in the previous video i had a killer dinnerware palette and now this i absolutely cannot believe it um all right let's get back to the rest of the video um we're gonna we're definitely gonna finish up with this box um, wow. I'm gonna go hang this up.
Okay, guys, let's continue with this box. We have another dust bag, and this one is looking a little weird. Um, let's see what this jacket is real quick. Oh, Eli Tahari, sacks off fifth. Um, still has the tags. Still has the tags. Let's see what is in... Oh boy, let's see what is in this one. Oh. Oh. Let's see what the branding is. Um, I cannot tell. I cannot tell what that brand is, but I'll have to look at it a little bit more. This is some kind of dress that does, you know, appear to be a little worn but look at that look at that beadwork that's amazing Let's see if i can show you guys the tag the label i can unzip it um okay so this is the label do you guys recognize that hopefully you can see it i don't even know where this camera's pointing uh so yeah i think that's the only thing in here so I'm gonna zip that back up and deal with that later on. Let me get my hair out of my face here. Oh, here's the other piece, the skirt to that set. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this little baby like tuxedo jacket. It's got a couple marks, but Wow, and it's got this little angel thing on the back. Wow, that is cute. I can't believe they shoved a Louis Vuitton in with this. Uh... <laughs> These baby pants, oh my goodness. It's like Elvis, it's like Elvis baby. Uh. Polo Ralph Lauren, the Hammond pant. So we have a pair of Ralph Lauren pants. New with tags. No idea the size. And they are unhemmed. Or maybe they were hemmed. They were let out. They have a lot of discoloration and staining. So um, Troy Fox. This is a baby Ralph Lauren. That kid had a lot of spit up when he was wearing this shirt um as with this one uh and here's the little uh what do they call this what do they call this thing goes with that little tux <laughs> so cute uh and then we have i don't know what this is another dust bag of some sort or just a bag laundry bag okay so i think we pulled the exciting stuff out of that box um, my first Christmas. Here's a little tie, Janie and Jack. A little baby tie. And then we have some uh, funny shorts, some linen shorts. All right. We're going to put most of this stuff back in here. Um, there is just that dirty stuffed animal. Not really anything else interesting in this box. Um, that stuff is just dirty, so it's not staying with me. The little tux is cute, but I'm not gonna mess with that either. This sweater, I think I'll keep, and we'll put that online. The Tahari will keep. This is just so stained. Little Nick's hat will keep. Once you wash these with the the faux fur it like clumps so I'm not keeping that not keeping that I don't know if there's anything in this Mickey thing um holiday M&M container okay well that was exciting to find that Louis Vuitton stuff um and it looks pretty legit to me so all right um Try, I gotta put this in piles of what is going where. All right. Moving on. Moving 
on to the next box. This is sealed with these little things here. These are like the typical boxes this company seems to use. So I guess they provide boxes if people don't have them. What is in here? What is in Oh. Ooh. Okay. We have some shoes. However, so these are Charles David. They look pretty basic. This is an Ivanka trunk box, but the shoes are foot pedals. No, they're not foot pedals. That's the insole. Someone put an insole in these. I'm looking at the bottom and they say Gucci. Wait a minute here. Um, so if I remove this foot pedal thing, these are Gucci. These are Gucci freaking heels with this nasty insole thing. So, I mean, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about these? That's wild. All right, ooh. Okay, so here we have a Franco Sardo box. And these are just these are just guess guess heels man if it ain't gucci i don't want it now <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> um okay we have a dior box do you think what are the odds that there's some christian dior shoes in here i don't know oh they are 650 dollars freaking shoes oh my goodness these are so barbie core are these not barbie core O-M-G. O-M-G. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is turning out to be a good palette. <laughs> wow. Okay. We have a Tom Ford box with a $690 price tag on it. Let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness. I don't even think these have been worn. Look at these shoes. I mean, there's like a couple little like marks on them. I'm not even sure what from. But like, look at these. We have the dust bag. We have the, this, these are probably like little extra heel things. Oh my goodness. That is wild. That is wild. So I'm not sure what the resale value is gonna be on those. <laughs> this is crazy, because none of this stuff was, you couldn't see any of this in like the preview. 1901, I don't know, I, I have no idea what 1901 even is. Oh, these look like men's, and these look like they are brand spanking new. They're, they were 80 bucks at Nordstrom. So, nothing crazy. They're just, they are the brand 1901, whatever that means. So, but they're new in the box. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Um, okay, not bad, not, not bad. And then I have another reusable bag here. Um, that is exciting. 
Holy moly. Let's hope we find some more designer. We have another green, green bin here. I'm gonna pull this one out. This one is really tight here. Oh, geez, I almost stabbed myself in the boob. Did you see that? Holy moly. Almost ruined my nice shirt too. Oh, girl. Okay. Note to self, don't do that again. The other side doesn't have a thing on it, thankfully. Oh, M, G, we have, we have more. Oh my God. We have more Tom freaking Ford and these are brand new. These are brand freaking new. Oh my God. Wow. That is incredible. These are very nice. These are very nice. Very nice shoes. I don't know if it's got the, the style name. Oh, here we go. Black Rose Pumps. <gasps> Look at that price. Look at that price. Look at that price. Now I know that resale value is not going to be that, but that's still, I paid $150 for this guys. Holy moly. Okay. Here we have some Chanel, um, like espadrilles. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. This is so crazy. $675. This is wild. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. This is wild. And then we have one more Tom Ford box. Oh, these are a boot. A sandal boot. Maybe they're not a boot. They look like a boot in the photo. They're not a boot. But they also look very, these are very gently used. I have never encountered Tom Ford in the wild. I don't even really hear a lot of, about Tom Ford, so I'm gonna have to look up and see what that stuff is going for, but holy, holy cow. Holy, holy cow. I am excited about this stuff. I am so, I am so excited about this stuff. Holy moly. Okay. All right, so this this so far is such a mixed bag. I don't even know what to make of this. I, I like I really don't um, like considering some of the stuff that I already like. Clearly, it was a couple. It had to be a couple. It wasn't just a man, a man's uh, storage stuff. But um, yeah, I am like I am literally shocked from what I found so far, and I have two three i have like five five things to open so wow okay let's get to it okay so i'm gonna pull this box forward um these batteries are my mother's i picked them up yesterday before i have to push those to the side um hopefully i have that camera at a good angle it's hard to tell all right well hopefully you guys can see everything um this is the baby stuff oh this is x-men Blu-ray, new and sealed. That came from that first box that I had to unbox to like get in the front. Still need to open that piggy bank. This is more of the stuff I just kind of threw in here. There's like a real, um, again, a real mixed lot. A lot of CDs though. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get into this box right here. This is not a green box. This is a brown box with a little Lauren dresses. Well, girl, I hope you got some more Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
my hands are filthy. I shouldn't even be touching this, this stuff at this point. I'm going to rip this, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't want it to block the GoPro. I mean, this box is like a disaster anyhow. Okay, what, what do we have here? Lauren Monique L. Hewler. So this is some kind of a gown. Again, it could be like Barbie core. Oh, she must have had a rough night in this one though. Look at that. It's got some spots to it. I'm not even sure how old this stuff is. Uh, what is this? Ooh. Okay. This is uh, Diane von Furstenberg. It's like a wrap, a wrap dress in a size 12. That's not terrible. That is not terrible at all. We have another dust bag. That makes me excited for what that could possibly be. Um, what is this? Made in India. This is some kind of a jacket. Biella. Mark, Marco Biella. Oh, this thing is funky. That thing is funky. It's got like stains all over it. Girl, I thought this was supposed to be all your dresses. Cache contour collection, size eight. You can tell this one was really worn. Um, that's no good. Here we have Lafayette 148, which used to sell really, really well, size eight. But this one, however, I don't know what happened. She got in a fight with her makeup that morning. That one, that one's looking rough. Girl, you did not take care of this stuff. Uh, here we have Calvin Klein, size six. This one might be okay. Susie Chin and, oh, for Maggie Boutique. That was dry cleaned. So yeah, some of this stuff I don't really know. And Klein, super basic. It's got the dry cleaning tag on it. And this is like a bustier type thing. This is K Unger, New York. I've actually sold these before. Um, so I think that will be just fine to list. David Meister, she had some body glitter on when she wore this, I think. Size 12, never heard of that brand. Um, kind of neat, but there, like I said, there is some stuff like on the inside. Like she was wearing some kind of, I'll have to look that brand up. I've never even heard of it. I really want to see what is in this bag right here. Oh, the men's store Bloomingdale. So this is probably a men's jacket. Maybe not. Might be a dress. Ooh. When she went out, she definitely went out with a bang. Like, is, is this... That's probably not damage, right? Probably not. Mac Dougal Couture, size 10. I mean, the beadwork is beautiful on this. Um, it's definitely got some spots. I don't know, you know, I don't know if that's gonna be sellable. This thing, I mean, look at that. Like, what happened to her while she was 
wearing this. Is this this might be a, a bed skirt? What is this? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Oh, this is definitely a dress impression. Man, you must have made an impression while you were wearing that. Like you fell down out of a third story window or something. This thing is beat up. This thing is beat. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can, I don't even know if you can, this thing is beat up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. I mean, I was, I was hoping that this was like a sign of good things to come with those shoes, but she uh, definitely wore the heck out of everything else. So here we have a Dolce and Gabbana dress, which would probably be pretty nice looking, but she really wore the heck out of this one too. There's like armpit issues. This one, I don't know what happened there, but there's a tear like, ooh. must have been her her party phase or something let's pull this one out of here oh what have we here oh my goodness arnaldo couture fifteen hundred dollars size 14 fifteen hundred dollars for this I never even heard of Arnaldo um, I mean I think I think it's okay it has the tags unless it was one of those that you know she was gonna wear it and take it back um, it might be a couple marks it might not be perfect I don't know we'll see if uh, I'll see if I can do anything with that one. This almost looks like it could match that other one. Let's see what this is. Fabiana Couture, I think. Size 10. Mm. Hopefully this stuff isn't getting too um, out of the way. White House Black Market. This is nice. This is new with tags. Definitely an older, older style. Um, $98. Ooh, we got bags flying around here. This is Tadashi Shoji. I guess this is a dress. This must be a dress, but it's kind of discolored. It is Max and Cleo, size four. So she's got a lot of fluctuating sizes. White House Black Market, very stained. Um, loft, Ann Teller Loft, size eight. New with tags, but it's got some like spots on it like something happened to it um then we have another dress this one's got major issues as well uh so yeah i think i'll keep a couple of these out and some of them are just junk these these are her underwear she was wearing some Hanes with this expensive crap fruit of the loom too <laughs> uh, I don't know I don't know what kind of underwear do you wear when you're wearing Louis Vuitton right I don't know okay I am going to clean some of this up and then we'll get into the rest Okay, so now we have a Christmas bin. I gotta get moving through this because I still need to ship and I need to get home and take my dogs out. All right, so we have a Christmas bin here now. This is a 
pretty blue tree skirt. Not bad. Might even be able to use that myself. Uh, every year I replace my tree skirts because my dogs love to pee on them. This is like one of those centerpiece things, but it's got a bunch of candle wax on it. Um, they decorated with all blue, apparently. So yeah, that's there's a lot of glitter in this bin. A lot of glitter. These look like Jim Shore, but I don't think they are, and they're broken. Um, yeah, a little snowman, little decoration, nothing real crazy in here. I'll, I'll see if like my mom wants any of this or, you know, I'm sure I can, I'm sure I can do something with this stuff. So yeah, that's a pretty basic, pretty basic Christmas bin. Um, actually, I might, I could use this maybe for my second tree. <laughs> so maybe I will take that home with me. All right. I do have another red and green bin over there. This is a, what is this? Oh, it's not 16. It's 24 by 24 by 18. That is a big hack and box. Oh my goodness. I'm ready for lunch too. I am starving. I have so much to do today. So we got to get this unboxing done here. Looks like we might be in the men's aisle with this one. Looks like men's clothing, perhaps. This looks like a very old style jacket, doesn't it? Vintage, perhaps. I don't see any kind of name in it. Um, it's kind of stained, kind of meh, kind of meh. That's what it is. Here we have another jacket, H&M. I should check these pockets. That's what I should do. I should check these pockets. That's faux pocket. That's not even a real pocket. How do you walk around with a jacket with faux pockets? H&M, do better. You could make that fabric stretch a little bit. Even the inside pockets are faux. Man, I would not be happy. Oh, we have one. One pocket. Nothing in it but a tag. Jeez Louise. Okay. Ooh, more jackets. This is a designer. St. Laurent. Oh, no. That's just the best. Um, the men's store. Bloomingdale. Oh, no. Maybe all of it. I don't know. It's kind of... It's tearing. It's... Oh, here's Gucci. Gucci! Gucci, baby. This a real Gucci? Look at this jacket. Oh, it's even got the Gucci buttons. Oh, we got a Gucci pinstripe jacket. And it's got a ton of moth holes. So honestly, I will probably rip these buttons right off of here and see if anybody needs some Gucci buttons. Gucci buttons, baby. 10 bucks for some Gucci buttons, maybe. Put them in the side there. Check these pockets. What's this, what's this? Nothing. At least Gucci put some real pockets in their jackets. I'll tell you that. They know what's up. People need pockets. That's just the size tag. Night on the town, you forget money in your pocket, right? It's always nice when you find it later. But this guy did not put money in his pockets. Not yet, anyway. That's another H&M blazer. Um, I guess you can't afford Gucci for every single outfit. Oh, but you can get another one. You can afford two. You can afford two Gucci um, jackets because he, he got another one. This one in blue. I'm mixing these up. I'm putting the bad in with the good. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. That other Gucci had holes. This one, this one does not have holes. Okay. All right. That Gucci is going over there. And we have Charles and a half. Like a, a leather jacket that's 
grossly deteriorating. How many people lived in this family? Because like this right here, what is this? Who wore this? Who wore this with those Tom Ford shoes? I don't understand. I am very perplexed. This was this the Incredible Hulk's jacket before he got big. When he did, he left all this green residue on it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is just very bizarre. There's more of that Tahari stuff. not in good condition. Um, could this be another Gucci? No. I don't believe so. Nope, it's Tahari again. Uh, another jacket. Silver bike. Silver. I mean, this this person really wore many hats. I feel like silver bike. Is this genuine leather? Genuine leather. Okay, maybe I can do something with that. I'm still mixing up these piles. Here's another jacket. This is Tahari again. This one actually feels nice. This feels like a real buttery soft leather. Um, and I do think that Eli Tahari might be a little better than just the regular Tahari. I don't know. But this actually does feel like a nice quality jacket. Like a real soft leather. Lamb leather. That is why, and it's in very, this one's in very good condition, so I will put that to the side. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is another Tahari. This is just a... Then we got Grandpa. Grandpa incoming here. Casper? Made in Romania. Never heard of Casper. Like a tweed jacket. This is Banana Republic. Banana Republic. Made in Turkey pretty basic this is the never-ending box you guys getting bored yet we have another Tahari this is a um, not in very good condition so we're gonna, we're gonna not, not keep that one there's another Tahari jacket. It's got a lot of stains and stuff on it, unfortunately. Okay. Wow, this is such a mixed bag. It's so odd. This looks like a vintage Boston. The tag was ripped off, so I can't see what it might have been. It's got holes in it uh, and then we have it looks like we have some army some army gear in here um, I don't know it's got some stains got an extra button in the pocket what do you guys think about that one and then we have another 42 long 
this is like, oh, this is like a whole jumpsuit. We have like some kind of patch on here. This looks like, I don't know why that's, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this, but that's interesting. There's even like a zippered spot on the leg. Hmm. jacket this also looks jacket flying man's cotton warp and nylon filling oxford it's got a name written inside of it so this is like some kind of an army jacket it's destroyed it's really it's a shame because it is it is it is destroyed it really is it's, holy moly, it's heavy. It's heavy, the hanger just broke. Wow. All right, we have a few more items in here. Um, we have some overalls, some vintage looking dickies. And I don't think I'm gonna pull the rest of this out. There's not too much in here. Um, I'm gonna pull this out, look at this. Wow, this is interesting. I'm gonna have to Google image search this. I mean, it's got some issues. Pretty neat though, right? Look at that. Hmm. I think it's definitely like missing stuff. I don't know. We just have some shirts here. Fruit of the Loom. These are just old, old shirts. Look at this one. This one is cool. And you can't even see the size. It's like worn off and it's like a snap button, like a vintage kind of like Western shirt. Kind of, kind of interesting, but there's no size, no nothing. So that makes it hard to sell unless you rely on Strictly measurements, which I don't like to do. Um, wow. Got some more Gucci. So we're going to pull this stuff out anyway. This one is really kind of got some staining around the neck. Nice. Um, what do you call those? I don't know. The boat things. This is Gucci. Um, unfortunately, that button is tarnished. Look at that. This is like vintage Gucci right here. I'm going to have to look into this. I mean, it's got some issues but it might sell it might sell even that one with the ring around the collar and we have another jacket that happens to be gucci made in italy i hope it doesn't have any holes in it it's got a little bit of um dirt somebody will have to have it dry clean there is no there's no holes so we got another gucci jacket Woohoo! What did I drop? This is another army related. Um, looks like Air Force. Um, but, I don't know, can't really tell the size. It is definitely stained up. This is just so interesting to me. This, this, there's no rhyme or reason it seems for this storage palette. And that's exactly what this is, guys. Um, I said it in, in my last video. I didn't say it in this one. But this is storage. No, oh, that's Tahari. Storage palette auction. It runs differently than a storage unit, but it's, just, it's the same kind of thing. People store their stuff here. Um, 
and then it is pulled out of the warehouse and delivered back to them when they want it. If they pay for it, if they don't pay for it, it goes up for auction. And if it doesn't get bought, it gets, it's done. It gets thrown out, it's in the trash. Um, and the ones that do get purchased end up going to people like me and whoever else, whoever else that buys them. Arrow, decked in perma, perma iron. That is old and it is so thin and it is stained. <laughs> A lot of these things are stained, unfortunately. This one right here, someone painted their house with that one. And then we have a H&M turtleneck. So yes, um, very mixed bag of stuff here. I'm gonna put that up there. I really have a lot of mess to deal with here and still get my shipping done. All right, we're gonna get into this Christmas bin here. Let's find some Gucci Christmas ornaments. Is that even a thing? Man, I am starving. Okay, so we are definitely sticking with the blue theme here. Just have a lot of ribbon and well, gold and silver. We have silver, not gold, blue. Scented pine cones don't really smell anymore, but they, they are definitely shedding the glitter. Valerie, that must be our girl. Christmas plant. Some of this stuff came from Kmart, the days of Kmart. She did not discriminate. She shopped at Gucci, at Tom Ford, at Kmart. This is just, this is just a basic, basic holiday bin that I'm gonna have to hold on to for a brief period of time and then get rid of. Clip on. On um, four. okay. Oh, the last box that's got the Batman thing in it. I'm excited to check that out. I do still have the bank and stuff in the front um, to go through, so I should I should try to crack that bad boy open. Okay, let's. Th this is one I want to. This is what I want to see. If this Batmobile, because I think this really, the animated series, I think this will do well online if it is, if it's okay. The box is definitely not in, in good condition. that moves. I don't know if this is complete. I don't really know much about this at all. It looks like there's a battery compartment. You can turn it on. It must be dead. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. I'm wondering if this, I'm thinking this might move and like go back. So yeah, I, I'm fingers crossed this brings at least a hundred dollars for this um, Batmobile thing here. I do think it might be missing. I think it might be missing a piece. Hopefully it's inside the box. I don't know. This is going to be one of those, um, one of those unknowns. I, I really don't know how that's going to go, but that is why I purchased this palette because of that. I thought it was kind of cool. thought it might sell. All right. So now we're back into the kids clothing by the looks of it or blanket. This might be a blanket. I know some of these lovies and stuff like that sell. So we'll see. I might run this through the wash. This is uh, what is this guy? He's a fox. 
I don't know if there's any indication of brand or anything, so it might be a little harder to tell what it is to sell it. We have more clothes in here. Oh, we got more shoes. What kind of shoes do we have? Okay, these are like real old school Uggs. They have some, some issues. Why do they have all these buttons? Oh, maybe they're the kind like that socks attach to or something. Real random assortment, an Easter Mickey Mouse. Oh, what is this? Uh, some sort of jacket. Oh, Puma. It's a Puma. Puma jacket. Kind of nice. Is this a men's? I think it might be. I don't know what it is. Men's. Women's. It's a U.S. large. I just like the animal print running down the sleeve. <laughs> that sold it for me. New York teddy bear. Little kid's blanket. Another kid's blanket I think um, mm. pro blow <laughs> it's got to be a hair dryer or something <laughs> right like uh, anyhow pro blow <laughs> this is a Greg Norman for Tasso Elba a golf, golf jacket might not be terrible I don't know it's a little linty uh, it's time to retire this flower I'm over it okay um, Ralph Lauren sleepwear Hugo Boss Hugo Boss. That is a scarf. We have a jacket of some sort. H&M. Divided by H&M. We got some Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom. This family liked Fruit of the Loom. Some gloves. We have another pair of Ugg boots. These are just black. Uh, then we have Blondo. And holy moly, they loved these shoes these are so busted uh, let's see what else do we have in here get the match for the blondo we have another sweater of some sort express oh uh, they were saving their here's the Ivanka Trump shoes that were probably supposed to be in that box these are a pair of boots medium not in terrible condition I'll list those this is Kenneth Cole same style as the really worn Blondo there's the other Ivanka these actually I mean these look pretty worn oh the toes actually on this one maybe I won't get those listed it looks like we have what is this A little Ralph Lauren Oh, this is cute if I can clean this up it's got the Ralph Lauren bears that popular bear pattern it's a little like um, like when you get your baby out of the bath and it's dirtier than it was when it went in because that's what it looks like <laughs> it looks like they put a dirty freaking baby in this thing um, but I'll run it through the wash and try to try to clean it up <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's it. Aside from like, you know, all of like the random stuff that I got in that other box in the beginning. This is just some like random stuffed animals and stuff like that. But, and I really don't think I'm going to do anything with these Uggs. They just look pretty worn. They just look kind of, eh. I don't think they're, who, I don't think anybody's going to want those. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up, guys. I think this was an amazing... I mean, there's definitely a large portion of junk, and you're going to find that in any kind of storage unit, storage pallet, whatever the case may be. But there's also some 
really good stuff, I feel like. So I am excited. I'm excited about those shoes. I'm excited about that Batman thing. I never found the other piece, but I think I'm still gonna be able to sell it. Maybe not for as much as I had hoped, um, but I, this Greg Norman, nah, I'm not messing with that. But I think it's still on oh, this Puma jacket. It's all stained up. Who really likes Puma anyway? Um, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to make out with those shoes. Those shoes, the Gucci jackets, and even though they look a little bit older. Oh, here's the other part of that Baby Elvis set, I think. This blanket with the cross on it, maybe. Baby Elvis. <laughs> That's what I keep calling it. Um, wow, this is awesome, though. And, oh, and the Louis Vuitton skirt set. Even though that, I mean, it looks kind of old to me, too. But, like, vintage or whatever. But I, I, think, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. So, super excited. Time for me to clean this up, get my shipping done, grab some lunch, take my dogs out, and get on with my day. Guys, this has been so much fun. Second week in a row that I've done these um, storage pallets. Uh, and I hope you are liking it. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, and if you've liked this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. You never know what I am gonna be doing. Uh, it could be a thrift store, an estate sale, a yard sale, even though not much longer on the yard sales, but a little bit. Um, storage pallet, storage unit. You never know what I'm going to do. You never know what I'm going to do. So if you like this content, subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. And until the next one.